My name is Anne Kerrigan. I'm 55 and I was diagnosed with alcaptonuria in December 2009 when I was 49. Alcaptonuria is a rare genetic disease. My life has changed completely. I used to be um, incredibly fit. I love traveling and now I, I can't walk very far. Um, I suffer extreme fatigue and pain. I've had to adapt as I've got worse over the years, but it's definitely um, changed my life. My name's Rosie, I'm 21 years old and I was diagnosed with alcaptonuria at 18 months. My name is Ian, I'm a GP and my daughter Rosie has got alcaptonuria. Rosie was nearly two and we noticed that one or two of her nappies and also her overnight urine in the potty uh, was a little bit red. So we wondered whether there was any blood in it so I decided to dipstick it. The result was reassuring but a subsequent sample we sent off to the lab and it was a very clever biochemist who examined it. He told us that Rosie had alcaptonuria. The symptoms of alcaptonuria that I've noticed have just been in my urine and in my sweat and it's this sort of changing colour. Apart from that I've got no um, joint problems or any other symptoms. Everything started um, I'd say in my, my late 20s and I had a lot of back pain. Uh, I was a retail manager and I was very active doing lots of deliveries but I was made redundant when I was 32 and became a full-time mature student. So I went from being very active to sitting and studying and my back completely seized. As a father, actually, I wasn't that worried because of my job. I, I had access to all the tests that I wanted and we wondered whether there was just some food pigment or something in Rosie's urine. We were, however, sent into a bit of a spin when we got the diagnosis because at the time there wasn't any internet, there wasn't um, the AKU Society and there wasn't any treatment. I was misdiagnosed three times. So my back was bad in my, in my early 30s, then my knees started to do strange things and um, I went for x-rays and I was told there was nothing wrong with my knees and then finally I had to go for an arthroscopy and following the arthroscopy I was told I had black dried blood in my knee and that I must have a blood disorder. So that was the first misdiagnosis. As a GP I'd be quite worried that I might miss the diagnosis in a, in a patient if I didn't already know about it. None of the literature that we read on the internet really points to um, AKU as being a diagnosis for red urine because of the haphazard nature sometimes of, of patients contacting their GP. Um, there's only a small window of opportunity during those nappy and potty years for, di for making the diagnosis early on. I had a new GP and I went to her and gave her my history and uh, she said well I think there's something unusual going on here so she referred me to uh, uh, Bristol Royal Infirmary to rheumatology and I saw the consultant and he said yep I think I know exactly what you've got um, all I need is a urine sample and I came back a month later and uh, he said you've got alcaptonuria the advantages of being diagnosed at a young age um, with alcaptonuria have been the fact that treatment can start early. Well, the importance of the diagnosis is that um, I, know what's, I know what's wrong with me. Um, and um, also, um, when I was diagnosed, by, the rheumatologist told me about research that was going on in Liverpool by the Alcaptonuria Society. And I went in February 2010. And I spent three days and um, had tests from head to toe. Personally, I feel incredibly lucky that I've been diagnosed at such an early age just because I can see, I've met a few of the older patients with the more severe joint symptoms and it's, it's amazing to know that I can now get treatment at the National Alcaptonuria Centre. Since, you know, I've been in touch with the AKU Society, um, I feel like I'm, I'm being looked after and I'm getting the best possible care and it's brilliant. Now that there's a treatment for alcaptonuria, it's more important than ever for GPs to be able to diagnose it, be that early on from pigmentary changes in the urine, perhaps a red overnight urine, or later on from arthritis and pigmentary changes.